comes to mind when one hears one Luna. Certainly one of the most intense characters of Philippine history, of the Philippine Revolution in 1896. Artist, extremely talented, volcanic, temperamental, volatile, all these adjectives add up to the enigma known as Juan Luna. He started out life by uh, being born to Ilocano parents in Badoc, Ilocos Norte. And uh, when he was four years old, the family transferred to Binondo in Manila and then commenced his schooling at the Ateneo Municipal. Later on, he attended art school and he was tutored by Lorenzo Guerrero and by Agustin Saez. Now, it was funny how those two professors actually found his very romantic technique way ahead of their time. So, after those studies, he found himself sailing for uh, Madrid on a grant by the Ayuntamiento on the condition that he would produce paintings related to Philippine history. And over there in Madrid, he excels. In that exhibition, his painting, The Spoliarium, won first place, and uh, Felix Resurrección Hidalgo won second place with his Virgenes Cristianas Expuesta al Populacho. Shortly after that, he and his brother Antonio Luna and the son, Luling, leave for Madrid. Soon after, he comes back to Manila and participates in the revolutionary movement. And it is during this time that he somehow finds himself in Japan and this uh, sketchbook takes place with all these uh, interesting sketches, some of which are actually uh, preliminary studies for some famous paintings. This is dated from 1896, and so it is just three years before Luna dies in 1899. It is a valuable window into the artist's soul and is a must-have for all of those seriously interested in old masters.